All right, today I am going to show you what you need to do to uh, fix a gearbox jam on a Speedex 1632. Uh, right now, my gearbox is working, as you can see. Uh, actually, there. Yeah, see, it ain't going into gear or anything. It's binded, which is kind of what I was setting out to do to show you all this video. Uh, you want to pull out these four bolts here on the side. Make sure you're somewhere you ain't going to fall. There's three short bolts and one long bolt. These three are the long one, well, short ones. And this one here is the long bolt. Now, what it is, oh, now it ain't doing it. Uh, these are what select what level you're in. And when this locks up, it gets binded in an area here where it shouldn't be. All right. Uh, when you pull it apart, you want to set them in the middle. And you got to sometimes play with it to get the uh, this uh, lever where it should be. But you want to do it in here. line it up and if you look where it's at it lines up uh, what causes this to happen let me get this stuff out of the way so I can get it back out where it's not supposed to be just so I can show you uh, you see how this is all gnarled up uh, and it just does not look very good or clean. Uh, these edges around it uh, on this side, they get all rounded and out of square. And the two width, well, the two flat sides on either side uh, are uh, worn down over time. How to fix this is you want to weld it to build up the material and go back and re-square everything and get your right spec for between the gearing. But uh, you set them both in the middle gear. Sometimes, like I said, it's a little difficult to do like this, just like that. Set it to the side. And before you put it on, this part is important. You gotta find out where these gears lie. Uh, when this, messes up sometimes it will bind and you won't be able to get it to turn or do anything other times you can only get it into one gear or bind other times it's one gear or neutral but uh, you want to kind of slide them around in here till you can find out which one is normal see that one still moves the chain so that one is not right then this one it's not moving any of the drivetrain keep it right there now normally you would uh, clean up these mating surfaces on both sides and put a fresh gasket maker in there if a gasket if you can find the right kit and uh, get it to seal right but my gearbox does it enough that I'm in and in, in and out of here quite often because I don't have access to a welder to do this job but uh, always remember the side with your handle, well, with your uh, gear shifter, goes on the side of the chain. Now, if you look down here at these gears, you have these grooves. All right. Each one of these have got to sit down in those grooves. So you kind of want to watch it. And get it in the right spot. Before you bolt it down, you want to check it and make sure it's in neutral still because I have knocked them out of place you want to make sure to hand start all your bolts before you put them on with an impact uh, 
or of course you'll strip it. I've done that multiple times myself and I know a lot of people that have. And uh, if your fluid looks like mine or uh, anything that don't look like fresh gear fluid, you're gonna wanna change it right back on out. And add fresh gear grease. It's actually supposed to be grease in here, which I didn't know that until much later. And uh, the way I got it was with this uh, gear oil. Uh, I think he put 80, 90 weight, something like that in there. But uh, either way, it works for my liking. Uh, at this point, you will find that you still have, well, you, you have all your gears again. Uh, first, reverse, neutral, neutral on the other side. Uh, second, and third. And then you can come back. Uh, don't do it. Mine's trying to bind up again. But uh, it's what I just showed you is really a temporary fix unless you get it welded. But uh, anyway, it's binded up again. I'm not going to pull it back apart. Like I said, mine does this quite off, often. Uh, just weld it up and refine all, all of your specs. Yeah, I'm binded up good. I'm going to take that back apart. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for y'all right now. Again, this is off of uh, uh, Speedex 1632. Let me bring it back. Let me see the type of Speedex it is. All right, y'all have a good day and stay safe.